today I'm going to be telling you a story with my good friend, Mr. Sheep. Everybody ready? Places! In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the people should be registered. So all went to their own towns to be counted. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. And Joseph went with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to deliver her child. But there was no room in the inn, so the innkeeper found space for them in the stable for shelter. And Mary gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger. It was not what they had expected, but it wasn't so bad. There were plenty of animals in the stable to keep them company. Cows, donkeys, sheep, even a cat or two. Sensing something special was happening, even the animals gathered around and looked in wonder at the baby Jesus. Now, nearby shepherds were living in the fields, keeping watch over their fleeks, over their flocks of sheep by night. It was lovely still and peaceful, except for a few sheep bleeding. Then suddenly, the Lord's angels stood before them, and the Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The sheep were frightened too. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and laying in a manger. And suddenly, there were more angels. The night sky was brightly lit up because there were so many angels, and they were all singing so beautifully, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the he highest heaven, and on earth peace and goodwill to all. After the angels returned to the heavens, the shepherds said to one another, Wow, let's go now to Bethlehem and see this God, this thing that God has made known to us. So the shepherds went quickly, some sheep even followed. The shepherds explained to Mary and Joseph how the angels had told them about the child, and everyone was amazed. Even the animals in the stable could feel their excitement. Much later, after the shepherds had returned to their fields, three wise men visited Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. Riding their camels, these magi had followed a great star in the east, and when they saw the child, they were filled with joy. They fell to their knees and honored him, presenting him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And on this not-quite-right night, Mary treasured all these things in her heart, as it seemed like the whole world was singing a lullaby of love. Can you hear it? Won't you join in the song? 